So back in April of 2020, when we started to work almost full-time remotely, uh, myself and most of my peers suffered a pay cut at our jobs, but at the time it didn't seem that painful because we also saved a lot of expenses. We didn't have transportation expenses, and for myself, I was able to find less expensive accommodations because I didn't have to be close to the action. And I did a lot of private tutoring and um, you know, a lot of clients, they expect to pay a lot less when they're working uh, remotely. And at the time, it didn't seem like that big of a deal because again, um, no transportation costs. And especially with the private tutoring, a lot less time commitment as well. I have a one hour session and it literally takes one hour. When I had to drive to, to the site or even to their home, uh, not only does it take time to drive there, it really cuts into my uh, attention, right? If I have a one hour tutoring session and I wanna do something else right before or right after that, it doesn't take that much time to shift attention when it's online, right? I could literally five minutes after that tutoring session be working on something completely different on the computer, right? Now the problem is that we all got used to that and when we go back to the office at my job as a professor, as a private tutor, or I have to go back to their home, I'm not so sure my pay is going to be restored right away, right? Uh, and so uh, it's really going to be painful to be working for what I do now with the transportation and with the cost of living of being close to the action. I really didn't think about that last year. Oh, I did. Had I had I thought about the end of the quarantine, I might have uh, sat down with these people and um, talked talked about uh, well, what happens after this, right? Have to have some kind of uh, trigger for when we talk about this again, and that's something that I, I should think about next time. But in terms of the clients, that's going to be really tricky. I mean, in terms of my job at the university, I might have to to, to jump ship there. But with the clients, that's going to be tricky. Because most people, I find it very difficult to raise your rates, especially when they're low. No matter how, how, how much the conditions improve, right? going to their home, timing, or whatever the issue is, uh, I find that once your rates are too low, your increases can only be proportional to that. And even if you started out working remotely, and finding new clients is a whole can of worms as well because a lot of these clients, they refer each other and uh, you develop good chemistry with these clients. I've been trying to wind down some of the personal rapport with these clients because I don't want to be afraid to lose them after we end the quarantine. But even that is a little bit tricky to me. Not to mention all the so-called transitory inflation between last year and this. And to be lucky enough to just go back to what you were making in, at the end of 2019 would be, would, would be a blessing. Not to mention all the transitory inflation over the last two years, right? Anyways, brace yourself for another pay cut in 2021. Probably bigger than the one in 2020 in terms of, in terms of the cost of living.